Welcome back in. Just a little past the six o'clock hour, and you can see the moisture on our camera there. We do have some active showers in the city now. The system has been pushing in from the west, and it does look a little bit more organized. We've seen some flashes of lightning associated with it. And so, waking up this morning and getting to your destination in a timely manner may prove to be a little difficult in a few instances. So, extra time will be needed. Once again, tracking some thunderstorms across the region, and it looks like the city proper is part of that said region. It's going to impact our temperatures throughout the next several hours, and so we're not going to stray too far from our startup temperatures, only adding about 10 to 12 degrees overall for that daytime high. That moisture in our air just kind of lacks in that temperature, and it does also present itself in the form of fog. So, for those of us not noticing that active rain across the city, that's dropping our visibility, but our surrounding areas where we're actually seeing some clear skies, that has caused some dense patchy fog to start to develop. So, until these winds kick up from the north, we're going to see this just kind of linger, or until the sun comes up, one or the other will help to dissipate some of this fog. But until then, low beams and extra time. We are dealing with quite a bit of moisture in our air, saturated in a few areas, and dew points near the 70s, if not in the 70s, while our temperatures linger there as well. So, it is going to be very soupy and uncomfortable as you roll out of bed and head out the door, and it's also impacting that drive. So, you do need to grab just about everything today. You need to grab that jacket, maybe in the form of a rain jacket, that umbrella handy to have for the morning and the afternoon hours, although it does turn a little bit more isolated in nature by late afternoon, and extra time definitely needed today. Once again, temperatures are very muggy early this morning, starting off in the 70s across the majority of the state, 60s to the west of the mountains, and we're going to see us climb for a few areas closer to the middle 70s for the afternoon. So for that bus stop around the noon hour, we are dealing with the 80s for our daytime high, but until then, it's a gradual crawl, and we're not going to see a whole lot of activity during recess or the noon hour, but we will see some towards drop off and pick up. We're dealing with more isolated shower and storm potential for the three o'clock and four o'clock hours this afternoon. Now let's turn to the roadways with Christy Breslin with her first alert traffic update. Hi, Christy.